Hey there guys, this is Flamzeron, aka YouTube's Tosuke. I know I'm a little late on this, but uh, there was a gameplay reveal of Dark Souls 2. Actually, there was several information. A uh, game trailer says, like, oh, come on Thursday and we'll have something cool about Dark Souls 2. But it was really just a trailer that got uploaded, like, the day after the gameplay reveal that IGN was doing. So, really, if you wanted to see Dark Souls 2 stuff early, you should have gone to um, uh, IGN for once. But, um, I'm just going to kind of talk about my thoughts on... Dark Souls 2, just what we can tell from it, mainly the gameplay trailer, so I guess I can put a link in the description uh, if you want to see it yourself. I'm not going to link to any, like, uh, re-upload on YouTube. I'm going to upload to the actual link so you can see it. I'm not going to be, like, a jerk and just be all, like, you know, just kind of uploading different dealios or whatever. Anyway, should talk about the game... Uh, first of all, there's been a gr big graphical update. Like at first, I was like, "Wait, are they? Is this really Dark Souls, or is this like something?" Like I almost, like I was like, "Wait, huh?" Like it looks like such a big update. It almost looked. I was a little worried at first because I thought they maybe changed the style, but it turns out they really didn't. They just updated it. Um, big graphical over overhaul. If you watch Vadi Vidya, uh pretty big Dark Souls YouTuber. Um, you'll he'll mention the lighting. I do agree there's definitely more of of um an influ more of a focus on the lighting, different kind of lighting, especially when you're lighting up an area or the bonfires or something. Um as far as the animation goes, um it looks a little smoother, which I'm not entirely keen on because it almost looks like it would it smooths. It try, they're trying to flow too well. Well, the problem with trying to flow well and being smooth, I mean, yeah, it's fluid and whatnot, but only problem is that gives you slower movements, which will end up giving you a slower game, which will not be fun because if you've played Dark Souls on PC, you don't really want the game to be slow, if you ask me personally. That's just my opinion. Um, I definitely prefer to play Dark Souls on the consoles, that's for sure. Um, but it and it, but I mean, it's just a demo, and they probably they could always improve it later on. So, um, in place of the whole humanity thing, we got a little sun thing. Not really sure what that is, and really no one really knows what that is. But uh, one thing to note is that the magic seems to kind of it's keeping the whole charge system, but it's, it's adding in a like a level system which that's kind of cool and now that I think about it that could potentially bring back stuff like warding because then that'll be a way of balancing uh, the powerful spells that were in like Demon Souls and Dark Souls you know like warding in Demon Souls or the pyromancies in Dark Souls which people say were broken which I disagree with especially not in game pl New Game Plus but um, so that's that's definitely new uh, as far as the design, um, there seems to be more emphasis on dragons in this one. Um, though I will note that in the interview, or then the video, um, the the uh, tr the uh, director calls them wyverns and not dragons, which to me kind of seals the deal that this is a sequel to Dark Souls as opposed to being a prequel. Because, you know, if they're not dragons, then... You know, whatever. And um, some people might not like that because they might seem like it's they're trying to kind of like, you know, choose a canonical ending. Well, that may be, or maybe this will just be something else that'll just kind of leave that ending open-ended or something. But there does seem to be an emphasis on dragons. A little more emphasis on atmosphere, I think, with the different kind of like atmospheric levels. I feel like Dark Souls... Uh, kind of lost that a little bit. Maybe it was just me because I was just trying to focus on playing the game, but it didn't really have much of atmosphere, not like Demon Souls, which is why I think some people um, are comparing it to Demon Souls, or comparing Dark Souls 2 to Demon Souls, because it seems to have a bit of a more atmospheric, sort of creepy sort of atmosphere, which I think Dark Souls, I mean, that Demon Souls did very well. 
Like when I first played, it actually was kind of creepy. But that kind of creepy that made you want to keep going, you know. Uh, the game seems to still retain its difficulty, and progressing with your shield up is definitely a good idea. One big thing that the develop that the uh, gameplay trailer or the gameplay reveal rather seems to kind of emphasize is um, natural sort of enemy reactions in the gameplay uh, footage. You will see the player uh, first. He'll one thing that's kind of cool is that he'll light up a torch. Now, some might say that, you know, oh, this is a bug because they didn't switch to um, and didn't show up to the shield, but I think that maybe the torch will just be just something separate entirely, where it's, it's just sort of like just something that just kind of pops up and it's not, it doesn't really take an inventory slot. Or maybe it will, you know, it's hard to say, but they're definitely adding in but adding in something like that's actually pretty cool. And it'll probably make um, navigating dark areas easier. Because then you won't have to worry about um, trying to get like a spell to light up the area. Or get that sunlight maggot. Or try to get like the skull lantern or something. Seems to be more of an, em an emphasis on uh, on something. I don't even know what I was going to say there. But anyway, you fight this, and then we go down to the dark area, and you fight this, what looks like sort of like a turtle armor kind of guy. And uh, the enemy get the player gets behind him and starts attacking his back, but the enemy falls back. Um, I don't, either intentionally trying to damage him, or to... Um, or just in reaction to being attacked from the back. Because if you're attacked from the back, you'll probably fall. And so this game is all about like enemies having like more natural reactions. So enemies will be a little... Probably a little smarter. So you'll have to strategize your... Um, stra you'll have to strategize your tactics in approaching an enemy more than you did in Dark Souls. And hopefully they'll take away the whole really cheap thing of like enemies suddenly just getting smarter, just randomly, or enemies catching up to you when you think they're not focused on you, and then they'll kill you when you least expect it. You know, that kind of stuff. Hopefully it's more... Now, they did show something akin to what I just talked about with an enemy... Uh, we th thinking that enemy's dead, but then he gets back up, maybe playing dead. That stuff's fine. Because, you know, that's, in my opinion, not, like, fake diff Like, I was talking about a friend who um, is interested in Dark Souls but doesn't really like the idea it's a fake difficulty aspect. And, you know, I do think that Dark Souls has some fake difficulty, but I don't think it's environmental. I think it's mainly just in the enemies. I think that's where the fake difficulty comes in. And honestly, that's the whole one of the main reasons why I think Dark Souls is just in general harder, because I feel like it's easier to navigate through the levels than it was in Demon Souls. Like, with Demon Souls, I feel like there were... It was harder to navigate. Mainly because the enemies were blocking your path. Anyway. And also, there's another section where... you Where the player sees an ogre behind a dungeon a wall thing, and he shoots the the uh, ogre guy in the wall, and then the ogre guy gets upset and goes through the wall and starts attacking the player. That I find really interesting, and I re it um, but it almost seems kind of scripted. And I know technically all this stuff is scripted. I mean, I mean, there's no real... S I mean, obviously it's, like, scripted, or th the enemy can do that. As opposed to just kind of programming all this stuff and then maybe randomizing it. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, so that's, it's interesting, and that's cool, but, and it kind of adds exploration, but I feel like it'll only work if there's actually something worth behind that stuff, unless you just can't go behind that stuff, or maybe it's a pitfall, that'd be funny, but, it's, uh, hard to say at this time, and obviously, any sort of gameplay problems we have with the game, we won't be able to tell. Um, early on. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, 
I'm just showing pictures of the games. I'm not showing the actual gameplay trailer. In order to avoid copyright, but also being able to talk about the gameplay itself, all of these kind of come from uh, gameplay footage or screenshots that have been shown elsewhere. Just forgot to mention that, and just in case you couldn't figure it out. Also, along with that other thing, we also learned that um, using a bow has become more viable. You can actually move with it now. And apparently it takes stamina, which is, that's kind of cool. So, that's definitely something to look forward to. Um, I don't personally use a bow. I'm just going to stick with sword and shield. One thing I noticed, which one of the problems I had with Dark Souls, was that the swords look kind of short. And I know swords aren't necessarily that long. But I really do hope they add a lot of variety of weapons. You know, not necessarily like different... I mean, they can if they want to have like short, medium, and long swords. But I really hope they have swords that at least are long. I actually prefer longer looking swords in Dark Souls. I don't know. Sword and shields sometimes I feel like are viable and sometimes I feel like they're not. Because they're not necessarily ideal for dealing lots of damage, but... And by sword and shield, keep in mind, I'm talking like, uh, fucking, fucking taskmaster, master, sword and shield. Or, like, just like a regular sort of round or whatever type of shield and just a regular long sword. I'm not talking about, like, a big sword and a shield. Because, I mean, in Dark Souls, having a shield's kind of important. But, you know. And in the gameplay trailer, or... I'm gonna, I keep saying gameplay trailer because there was also a gameplay trailer that was uploaded. But the, what I'm really talking about is the gameplay reveal that IGN did. Um, there was also... They brought back Poise, what they showed near the end. But they also showed, uh, for one thing, uh, better uh, death animations or falling animation where just your guy kind of falling. But they also... Um, said that they want the player to have plenty of ways to die, so perhaps there's going to be maybe either more traps or different ways to die through, like, enemy attacks. Which, that's cool, I guess. I mean, I I don't really plan on dying that much. I'm going to try not to in Dark Souls 2, but who really knows? It's kind of hard to say at this point. Um, One thing that was also mentioned was uh, the possibility of fighting mid-bosses or major bosses uh, mid-level. In the gameplay reveal, as well as some screenshots online, you will see a... Um, and I'm sorry if the images don't match up. I'm just kind of showing pictures. Um, you will see that uh, there's a chariot. That people are speculating that may be a boss, and that'd be interesting if it was a boss, you know. I think it'd be pretty interesting if they did like a little boss guy or something. As I lose my train of thought while typing something, anyway, what I'm trying to say is I think that's kind of cool because you know, Dark Souls. While it's not the hardest game, it is still a hard game, and sometimes you just want to get through. That's one of the things I don't like about in people invading your game. Uh, some people argue that it adds the intense, that the as the tension and the nervousness. That's true, but if you're just trying to play the game and want to progress, it can be kind of annoying when you're doing well. Then someone suddenly someone who's probably a better gamer because, or will probably beat you just because gamers are pretty smart. Um, comes in and then kills you and then you lose, you know, all that progress. And you have to, and then you have a choice of either going back up and getting it and potentially dying again then losing your progress for good or trying to get some new progress and regain it through different means without dying. And then you go back up and you get there and, you know, I, one of the main points that was made from the director, well, one is that they don't want the, to change the core of Dark Souls and the gameplay. They're keeping it the same, which I think they're doing a decent job of. It still looks a tad different. Um, it, this game looks more like a sequel to me. Like, it looks more like an updated thing. Like, Demon Souls and Dark Souls, 
gameplay wise, I mean, yeah, there was a difference in the obviously the world and the character designs and you know the uh, and some mechanics, but the overall gameplay was relatively the same, and the graphics were relatively the same kind of revolution. There wasn't really anything majorly different in terms of how Demon Souls and Dark Souls played. I still think uh, Dark Souls plays better than Demon Souls, but at the core, there's nothing really different besides some minor things. Dark Souls 2 feels like, while it's still the same idea, they've updated it, and they're trying to say, this is a sequel. In fact, like I said before, um, correct, one of the... Uh, when talking about dragons being in the game, uh, the director doesn't call, or, yeah, I think it's the director, one of the directors doesn't call the game, uh, doesn't call the dragons dragons, he calls them wyverns. Those are not dragons. So, uh, that, again, tr- it shows me that this is indeed a sequel to Dark Souls story-wise. This is going to take place after the end of Dark Souls, or maybe a little bit before Perhaps this character is, uh, well, I'll get into that later on, but and this is definitely a uh, very interesting looking game, I think. Um, you can see that some uh, armor from Dark Souls is returning, like the Elite Knight armor. Maybe you'll start off with it this time. Uh, the new armor, that sh- the armor that's shown in the uh, tr- the uh, gameplay reveal, I almost said trailer again, it's probably from an NPC. Uh, the very first cinematic trailer was probably just a trailer just to get hype. You know, to me it was almost like the whole Project Dark thing, you know. You know, it doesn't. it's not really meant to tell you much about the game. It's kind of just meant to... Um, just, get, just get you hype for, oh, there's something new coming. Um, one thing they the uh, reveal showed was that there's a scene, and the same scene where the director calls the dragons uh, the dragon a wyvern, when uh, the player character is going across the bridge, or a bridge to get to the quote unquote mansion of the dragons. Uh, your uh a wyvern comes on here and cuts the bridge, jerking the camera around, and your character falls. Uh... They've been told. I've been told that there's. They say that there's a way to avoid it. The only way I can really think is to run back as fast as you can. But you have to be expecting that to be able to do it. And even though now that 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 we've seen that, we may not expect how quickly that wyvern will come and cut the bridge. So it's going to be kind of hard to get past that. I think perhaps. Um. So, but that also tells us that this game may have one or maybe two unavoidable deaths like the first game did with Seat the Scaleless, where you have to die. I mean, if you can jump, you don't really have to, but that's, one, a hard jump to do, and two, the game does not intend you to do that. They would have made it a tad bit noticeable or easier, I think, if if you were meant to do that kind of jump. But... Um, now, maybe it's not unavoidable, maybe you can't avoid it, like they said, but I feel like it'd be really, really hard. Estus flasks are returning, are returning in this game, but there's also healing items, I think, like little rock candy things, and I think that's kind of cool, because, you know, it's nice to have extra healing items, because, you know, it'd be like if in the Tales games, the only way you could heal yourself was through, like, apple gummies and life bottles or something. And that was the only healing item with like some stuff that would just heal you at full health, you know? And I know Dark Souls is a different kind of RPG. Like some people argue that it's not. I, th- I think it is. It's just that it's designed so differently that it just kind of hits the core just barely. But I still consider it an RPG. I consider it a Western RPG personally, even though it's designed by a Japanese group. I think it's a Western RPG based on how it's designed. The entire series, I mean. Um, but that's kind of cool. And it also looks like that with the little HUD menu thing in the corner, 
uh, it'll be collapsible, so it won't. So to kind of make the game look a little more cinematic, that's cool and all, but this is a video game. Like some games, for the cutscene, for like cutscenes or like dialogues that are done like in game, they don't have like, or even like uh, like pre-rendered CGI. You know, sometimes the they won't have subtitles, but they'll give you the option to turn them on. I usually turn them on because to me that feels more like a game. Like a game for me is not a movie. Like a game is a form of art, but it's a different kind of art. It's an interactive art. It's not a book or a movie or a comic or something else. It's a different kind of art. Something that you can experience hands on, something you kind of control. With a book, you kind of already read, you kind of just, or a movie, you kind of just read or watch what's already there. You can't really change anything. But with a game, you can interact with it. So I do think that games can be sh- can be um, a form of storytelling, a form of literature, and a form of art, but it's a different kind. Anyway. And also, what looks like um, you can cut, they're going to give you like a chance to kind of scroll through the items you have. I don't really think that's necessary because honestly, I don't have, and this is just me, but I don't really have that that a week of short-term memory, so I kind of remember what's already there. And even then, if I don't, I just kind of scroll through and get to what I need. I don't really, I try to avoid cluttering my item equip list with stuff I don't need. Unless I need it. Whew. Sorry. It's like 5.30 over here. I stayed up quite a bit to talk to about this game with you guys. But overall, I really am looking forward to this game. I have not pre-ordered it yet. I pre-ordered Exilia, but I haven't pre-ordered this game yet. I'm going to maybe or just buy it. If there's a collector's edition, maybe not. Unless they do like a little thing they did for Dark Souls 1 where... If you pre-order it within a certain time, they'll just give you the collector's edition. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And in uh, preparation and tribute for Dark Souls 2, I'm going to be doing some other videos talking about, you know, lore and, you know, different gameplay things and different stuff and what I'd like to see in Dark Souls 2 and, you know, just different opinions that I have about the game. The next one being why I think Demon Souls was a pitch project or an open beta for Dark Souls, perhaps. So stay tuned for that. This is Flamsaron, a.k.a. YouTube's Tosuke, signing out. Try to stay alive, if you can.